What's up everybody, this is Pastor Matt. Thanks for checking into my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the Pilot Friction Ball Color Stick Erasable uh, Pens, fine point, 0 0.7 millimeter. They're gel ink and they're said to be erasable. Now somebody told me about these via uh, an email. They said they've seen some of my videos before for Bible writing, uh, Bible marking, Bible journaling, and that kind of thing. And they wondered if I knew about these pens. As it turned out, I didn't. So I ordered some with some skepticism, and uh, having seen these now and used these a little bit, I have to say, what kind of sorcery is this? I've never seen a pen that actually erases before. Now you're gonna have to bear with me here because I'm filming with one hand and writing with the other hand. I don't have a million dollar studio like Jason Mayfield. Uh, he's my homeboy, so I can tease him a little bit. Um, I just have my phone in my hand here, but I'm gonna try to give you a little demonstration of these pens and of course I'll post a link in the description of this video so you can you can get these if you are convinced um, but so these are gel pens now normally gel pens write very very smoothly much more smoothly than ballpoints for instance which to me kind of have a scratchy feel as you're writing especially in your in your Bibles kind of feel like you're having to work a little bit with ballpoint pens whereas gel pens feel like they just slide right across the paper they're so smooth they write super smooth and these ones, I will tell you, write very smooth, super duper smooth, uh, a little bit too, mm, I kind of want to say runny, I don't know. Uh, so my concern was there's no way this is really going to be erasable because the pen sinks in to the paper and that's why you can't really erase it like pencil, which sits on the top of the paper. Pen doesn't really work like that. So normally it kind of sinks into the paper bleeds through and then there's no way you're going to be able to erase it because the ink itself gets into the pulp of the paper. But nevertheless, um, I am totally ghosted out by how good these actually work. So I've turned to a kind of a, um, an inconspicuous passage here in 1 Chronicles 4 where I'm probably not going to take a whole lot more notes than are already on this page. So let's just underline something here. Um, I don't know the name Shimon. <laughs> Can you see that? I just I just uh, underlined a word here. Make sure this is focused in. Now I'm going to give this a moment to set to make sure it's dried. And if I turn the page here, one of the things that you're going to be able to notice is that there's very little ghosting. And this is a red, this is a purple colored marker here. Normally reds and purples, if you know anything about ink, very hard to erase. Think about getting blood or some kind of red ink out of your jeans. It's just something about red and purples I don't want to erase. So I was very skeptical. I figured I'll use this purplish red color here as kind of my test. And now that I've given it a minute to, uh, to set there, let's see what happens if I try to erase this. Um, it's mostly gone. I mean, I'd say that's like, can you see that? It's like 95% gone. Now I can still see that there's something there, but um, this paper in this particular Bible is super duper thin. This paper is not necessarily the best writing paper, even though this is a wide margin edition, because this paper is really, really thin. So let's go over here to a Bible that is made more for journaling and for writing and see what kind of results we can get here. Now, I actually already wrote this little paragraph a couple of days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase something here from this note. I took a little note on the prayer of Jabez, and I'll write it back here in just a second, but let's go ahead and erase this. Whoa, dude, look at that. Did you see that? It's gone. <laughs> like, how does that happen? It's, t it's I mean, it's kind of there. Let me sharpen that up. Like, that is pen. Pen doesn't erase like that. That's crazy. Look on the back. And yes, you can see just a little bit there but no worse than any other writing implements. Um, let me see. See, there's the ghosting right there. Totally not bad. This is a red. This is like red-purple color. Let's go to like a, like a um, this would be my Pigma Micron pens. And see, the Pigma Microns are some of the best in the world. And you can still see a little bit 
going through there on the back of the page. So overall, man, I gotta say, I am ghosted out by how well these pens actually erase. Not so good on the super premium, super thin Bible paper, like in this heirloom wide margin edition, but it really, really works well on this journaling edition. The erasing of it is like so close to 100%, not exactly 100%, but really, really close to, to 100% erasability. Let's do something else here just for fun. I'm gonna go ahead and just like put a box around Jehoash reigns in Judah there. This is 2 Kings 12, I just randomly turned to it. And oops, I don't want that there. I'm gonna erase it. Maybe I just want half a box there. Bro, that's that is freaky. That's a gel pen erasing like that. That just blows me away. So anyway, here they are. Here's the cover for them. Again, this is the uh, this is the Friction Ball Color Sticks Fine 0.7 millimeter by Pilot. There you go. If that'll help, find it in the link of this video. Thanks for checking in. Love you lots. Talk to you later.